Hi, I'm Mare. And I'm Lou. And this is the... Mare and Lou Review. All right, welcome back. We've got a couple more good books we want to share with you. And Louisa is going to go first today. Okay, so I brought Warriors. And this is the first book by Erin Hunter. You might have heard of her. Um, she's written several series like so there's Seekers, I think those are bears, Survivors, those are dogs, but Warriors are cats, and um, so there's several series, <laughs> it's kind of long, but they're pretty quick. Um, and so anyway, it's about a cat, his name is Rusty, he's just a house cat, and um, in the woods there are four clans, and clans of cats. <laughs> so like four groups yeah. of cats. So okay. there's like Thunder Clan, River Clan, Shadow Clan, and Wind Clan. Okay. Then Star Clan's like pretty much cat heaven. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, so anyway, Rusty, um he's he's a pretty happy cat, but so one day he wanders into the woods a bit and he gets caught by Thunder Clan cats and he doesn't even know about the clans because he's a cow house cat he doesn't hear about those things okay and so then he they he just they both decide that he should come into their clan he wanted to come into their clan because you know life as a kitty pet isn't very exciting but so he went into their clan and they trade him to become a warrior and and all these things happen, and in this specific first book, there's some trouble with Shadow Clan. And Ooh, I'm gonna hold that up close so yeah. we can see. Yeah. So, um, Shadow Clan isn't too good. They're kind of the bad clan. But the anyway. Bad kitties. Yeah. Um. But so, um, the leader Blue Star, she is, um. She was the leader of Thunder Clan, and anyway, so all this stuff happens, and I'm not going to go anymore because it'll spoil it, but um, anyway, he's like, it's it's a really good book, like, it's kind of gruesome. Kind like, of gruesome? Yeah, there's like... like so is it like killing? Yeah. Okay, so there's cat death. And... It's not as bad as the Hunger Games. <laughs> okay, okay, that's good. That's yeah. Cool. And you have read, this is book one. I've read um, all the first four. There's seven in the first series, which is The Prophecies Begin. Okay. But, yeah, so, and... Yeah, um, so there's a ton. If you're yeah. into series, there are a ton of books mm -hmm. grouped in all these different series yeah. for warriors. And it, it doesn't really take a long time to read. Like, I read book four in, like, a few days. <laughs> So I have a, a question. So Rusty, the house cat mm -hmm. that runs into all these clans in the woods, yeah, is he prominent in all four books that you've read, or is he just kind of he's the, the way main, of introducing? He's the main character. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. And eventually, her he'll earn his own name in the clan. I'm Ooh. not gonna say it because that kind of spoils everything. Okay. So yeah. if you were a cat. In Warriors, what would be your clan name? Do you know? Like, what would you... Do you feel like you belong to one of the specific clans? Yeah, probably, um, I think, Thunder Clan. Okay. Yeah, and I can, uh, there are a few characters I can relate to. So, Cinderpelt. Okay. Sandstorm, White Storm, and Blue Star. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I've heard some of these cat names from Louisa and just from yeah. um, looking at the books a little bit, but um, they do have really cool names, so it'd be kind of fun to think up your own yeah. specific name. Maybe that could be your homework. Yeah. Okay, well, good. Yeah. I'm glad you talked to us about Warriors. That's yeah. it's a pretty popular series at our school. Yeah. So. I, when I finished book four, I ended on a cliffhanger, so now I'm like... You need book five. Okay, yeah. we'll get you book five. And I was going to say, there's also a graphic novel yeah. version. Have you read it's, any of those? I've read one. It's not as good. Read the books. Read okay. the books. Okay. Even if you're a graphic novel fan, just read the books. They're not that good. 
Okay. They're okay, but but you just I don't weren't that them. super into it. Okay. Yeah. All right. So the book I brought is this one. It's called Tyrannosaurus Rex by Stuart Gibbs, and I'm only on chapter three. But it was super funny already, and so I wanted to read you the title of the first chapter. Mm. It's called The Smoothie of Justice, <laughs> right? That's funny. And then the first sentence is, All the trouble with the Tyrannosaur started the same day Xavier Gonzalez and I helped apprehend the zebra spanker. <laughs> what? So, <laughs> that just kind of gives you an idea. This book's... It's goofy, it's really fun, it's fast paced. So it's about a boy um, named Teddy and he investigates mysteries and they typically involve animals because he lives at a zoo. His mom is a primatologist oh, that's cool. mm -hmm. and his dad is a photographer, I think that's what he was. Anyway, yes, that's what he is. So between his mom and dad working at the zoo, they kind of live behind it in a trailer. And he's got friends that, you know, parents also work there. So he's solved all these mysteries that surround um, different animals. But in the first chapter, they apprehend the zebra spanker, who's this YouTuber <laughs> who sneaks into zebra enclosures and spanks zebras and then posts it online and it's not nice but he gets a lot of um reviews and they run into him he comes to their zoo one morning and they run into him and uh it's kind of funny where and how he ends up getting caught but uh i won't spoil that it's just the first chapter that, but that sounds really cool just hearing that like someone goes into a zoo to spank zebras for the sake of youtube like I want to read more. Yeah, it, it's pretty silly. And he has all of these other um, ones in the series, kind of in the animal zone. But he has another series that I've put on my, um, like my wish list at a school to order. Um, they're called Spy School. And those look really fun. He reminds me, do you remember I reviewed that book? in our very first book review called Framed. Yeah. So he kind of reminds me of the guy that wrote Framed. He started out like in the film and movie industry. So his books, uh, Gibbs books are also like really quick and engaging and funny. I feel like it's gonna move really fast and then we're gonna love the characters. So um, in my mind I connect um, Gibbs and Ponty a little bit because they, cool. they seem like they have similar backgrounds and then they, write these um, stories about kids that solve mysteries in fun ways so that's really cool yeah so i'm really enjoying this one so okay. i've i've also started a lot of books that i haven't finished i started the doll people which mm -hmm. louisa recommended i started yes. um a do daughter of the daughter deep. of the deep by rick riordan and i feel like there's another one but um um oh i so i read um Heartwood Hotel. Did you like it? It was so sweet. Yeah, I loved sweet. it. Yeah. I loved all the different animals. And um, the skunks were funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so it's been fun. As we've shared books back and forth, we've read. Yeah. Um, well, Louisa's completed <laughs> things. I have started things. Well, Heartwood Hotel is a short one. This so. is true. Yeah, this I didn't know you did. All right, well, we are way over five minutes, but... Who cares? <laughs> Mom, I've known you all my life. You've known me all my life. And one thing that you know about me, I talk a lot. That's right. But we're going to try and keep this short, so... Short things are boring. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, so try um, Tyrannosaurus Rex. And Warriors. Try Warriors. Let us know what you think. Oh, look, it's a bunch of eyes <laughs> on the camera. That's yeah. awesome. Um, okay, we're excited to see you again sometime later. Luisa, it's been great. Okay, bye.